so another game with some implications this week. It comes in District 8, 2A, Division 1. We've talked a lot about this district. Let's just call it the Crawford District because they pretty much have owned it. Uh, but it has been still a fun district in that league. Um, so Crawford, Marlin, Rosebud Lot, they've clinched their spots. That leaves one spot left. And Riesel and Bosqueville are fighting it out for that spot. Um, so it's been a little more clear. It's a little more clear cut for Riesel. Tyler Crow's team would be in with a win. Bosqueville, meanwhile, it gets a little more complicated. Um, it probably would work out where if Bosqueville won, they probably would get the fourth spot. They have the tiebreaker over Moody. They do not over Valley Mills. So if Valley Mills wins, and Valley Mills, I think, has – I have to look that up. I ha I have a whole email that I sent to Michael Haig, who was covering that game for us. Um, so anyway, there could be a tiebreaker situation, and there's even a tiebreaker situation where Bosqueville, Valley Mills, Riesel, and Moody all end up tied for fourth, which would then come into – point differential and that kind of thing but um forget all that for a second Riesel Bosqueville who are you picking in this game okay before I answer that Valley Mills is playing Marlin that's okay I thought I thought that was right I just didn't want to say it wrong yeah so <laughs> um that pretty much I'm makes a clean cut it it pretty much does I mean we we here have to acknowledge that upsets happen and mm -hmm. I, I mean, it's not quite as big an upset. It's not, it's not even in the realm, but I didn't expect Valley Mills to beat Bosqueville last week, honestly. So there you go. What were you going to say, DJ? Uh, um, I was going to answer your question. I yes. think I'm going to take Bosqueville as the underdogs here. Um, but I still think they have a pretty good chance of like, not to like. Yeah. Hey, that is isn't teams... good, but like they've. I feel like they're pretty even there and, and they can, they, basketball can definitely win this game. Yeah. One note about that, uh, that I sent our friend, Michael. Uh, so Clint Xander has been there again. I have to look this up. It's either 14 or 15 years. Uh, they've never, never not. That's a double negative, but it works in this situation. They've never not made the playoffs under Clint Xander. You could also use the phrase, they've never missed the playoffs. They've never missed the playoffs. Thank Mr. You. Sports Editor. Yes. If I had had a little more time to think about that. But yes. <laughs> <laughs> Answer that question, butthead. <laughs> uh, I would lean towards Riesel, mm -hmm. but I, I was looking at it, trying to like decipher a, an edge in the picking, and there's really not one. Um, you can't look at you know, the comparative results and be like, well, Riesel's got an edge here. I just think that, um, you know, for whatever reason, Bosqueville has had a tough season. And, you know, maybe they rise up and win this game and get back in the playoffs, you know, for the however many straight year in a row. Uh, I w I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lean to I'm going to pick Riesel. I'll just straight up say it. Yeah, I, I'm leaning that way, too, just because of the way they're trending. Uh, that, that you know, loss to Valley Mills was a little eyebrow-raising for me, you know. I mean, it was a close game. I think it was 32-29. Uh, so, Bosqueville was in it. But Riesel's kind of trending a little more up, and Bosqueville's trending a little more down. But we'll see. I agree with DJ that it, it feels a little like a toss-up game for sure. Um, one other interesting note uh, about that game. Um, so Clint Zander, Bosqueville's coach from Riesel. He was a super syntax uh, lineman back in the day. Uh, and I believe I'm correct on this. His head football coach at Riesel was Todd Harbor, who was Baylor's track and field coach for a long time. Um, obviously Todd also coached track and field at Riesel. Uh, that was kind of his forte, but anyway, some just little nuggets for you here, uh, on the super syntax podcast.